Our next question is from Richard. With existing fruit trees, how would you approach adding support species or other species that were not part of the initial planning? Is it too late? These fruit trees are four years old and well on their way to becoming established. Well, Bill once said, you should be so unlucky to inherit a monoculture orchard. <laughs> now, uh, but it's not impossible. Um, there may be some sacrifices of trees um, if you want to put swales through, um, some are going to get in the way. But I have brought soil in, instead of digging trenches, I've just brought in contour mounds and dodged my way through an orchard and then interplanted it with a diversity, including support species. And after a while, you can't see the original grid lines. It just disappears. But to bring in this kind of diversity, you can interplant what you've got, and some are going to shade out. They're going to be a little bit too overcrowded. But then what you'll get is you'll get a disparity in the size of the original fruit tree. Some are going to grow well, and some are going to get overshaded, so they're going to grow at different rates. But you're going to get the diversity like I'm stood in amongst here. You're going to get a great diversity of species, and uh, much less maintenance input required for more output in relation to that input. And you can manage it in different ways. So it really is about bringing in support species, diversity of productive species, and accepting the fact that some of your original trees are not going to be favoured, and others are going to definitely be favoured. And that's the only sacrifice there is, because after a while, you're in a system that's very, very easy to manage in relation to the output you get with the minimum amount of work. And all of that can be adjusted in relation to how much you want to get involved.